Alex, you looks very tired. Problem with the VR goggle again. No Jane, I have been debugging Kamala's AI modeling. Thanks, Alex. Did you find out anything? I am looking at the AI search pattern on the internet. The amount of time and data stored in her library can give me some clue on where Kamala's AI picked up her info. That's a very good approach, Alex. Did you find out anything useful? I have set up the investigation route in the server and hopefully can find out some useful info once we get to the office. Do you think the hospital make a mistake? I also have been wondering, the hospital cannot make such blunder, right? They must have get the info from someone. It cannot be that Suishi cannot recognize her own mother, right? This Kamala doesn't seem to have any heavy makeup, nor tattoo on her. It could be that the room was changed, and we went into other people room. If that's the problem, we need to get more detail from the DNA blood test. Suishi has his contact, maybe she can give her handsome technician a call. And we dig in more detail on the blood test result. Isn't Swishy mentioned that her DNA not matched? True also. How about, we ask the worker there, why they contacted Suishi? Yes, that also can work. Honesty is the first chapter in the Book of Wisdom. <laughs> oh dear, Alex you're into quote now? Wait a minute, did Sally give you Lily's plug-in? No, I work on my own plug-in for the whole night. I need to be ahead of Sally. Jane, please don't spill the beans. No worry Alex, your secret is safe. By the way, when a secret is revealed, it is the fault of the man who confided it. Jane, come on, we shared same train to work and back daily, how could you say such thing? I am just kidding, Alex. You know I don't spill other people rotten beans. Jane, sorry that I doubted you. There are so many things to do for this team building meeting. I need to set up the room earlier. Oh, someone already set up the room. I wonder who. Maybe I ask Lily who was here. Here are the drinks for the morning meeting. Thanks, but I didn't order this. Someone ordered and paid. May know who ordered it, handsome. <laughs> I am just a delivery boy. And madam, please keep your sarcasm to yourself. I don't mean to. Aww. Madam. What madam? <laughs> Where is Lily? Good morning all. I was asked to remind all of you that round 2 meeting is on at 9 a.m. today. There are many things to discuss in the agenda, so we will have to order and eat in today. See, Alex. Yesterday lunch was a bribery. No worry. Perhaps we can order online from the same shop. You guys propose, and I do the order. And we can test her knowledge. See how smart you are, Holly. Swishy, I have sent the list of employees that came in before 7 a.m. to your email. There are 75 people. Wow, so many people came early. How to narrow down. Anyway, Lily, thanks. Can you find if anyone ordered morning beverages from Moon Dollar's coffee shop? Sure. What with the list of employees who came in early? HR asking you to check this? No. Someone prepared this room for me. I want to find out who. Why worry about it? Is was done correctly, right? Yes, but I wanted to know if the person will do it again, tomorrow? <laughs> I have an update for you, Swishy. There is a connection to Moon Dollar's website this morning, about 6.50 am. I could not get the ID. 
as it was erased right after the order. The line traced to level 101, B2 area. B2, that executive area. Who could it be? It is definitely not Max or Sam. Could it be Dave? Dave already left to Chicago last night. I, ahem, Lily helped to book his ticket yesterday. Sushi, your life is full of mysterious people. Luckily, my colleagues are very helpful. You want us to track down this mystery person? Yes, please. I am feeling a bit creepy not knowing the intention. Young Padawan, this is up of your alley. Okay, you can count on me. Hey, Suishi, later I am going to do the online ordering, yeah. Why, Alex? Lily can do it. You wanted to do more investigation work? Yes, I want to find out how Holly knew our food liking. It is quite surprising. Do you realize that she even knew our name? Come to think of it, it's true. We didn't wear any name tag. And she already behaves like a close buddy right after we step into the restaurant. Did you do the booking? No, Lily does that. I bet, Lily gave her our info during making the reservation. I think you are right. Holly could ask for the info from Lily, in preparing, for a better customer service. Larry, do we impose any control, to the content giveaway on Lily? It was said as, no harm. That opened to a lot of interpretation. Boss wanted the AI, to learn how to control, and react according to her learning. Boy, we are becoming the genie pig in this experiment. <laughs> That's why we must interact with Lily more, to understand it better. If it's Alex, then everything goes. <laughs> Sally, looks like you understand me wrongly. I am the opposite, actually. I am actually a ENTP, reserved person. That one clue to investigate further, Alex. Alex, can you please find out quickly? Not sure how much more, we are exposed on the internet. We must chat with her, to understand her behavior more. I can set this feature up and forward it to your phones. Wow. Sally. Thank you, with the chat features, I can get her to send me quote as well, right? <laughs> Alex, I can no longer call you Padawan, congratulations. You had became Jedi Knight. Today is the second day of our meeting. It's time to accelerate the pace. But before that, we will start with a team building activity. The objective is to complete rearrange the puzzles with the least steps. Each team can send a member to view the puzzles. This person has 10 seconds to view and return back with his information. Then, team can send another person to view it. Each team have a set of black blocks labeled with numbers. The team need to come up with movement of these blocks to solve the puzzles. Team with the least views and steps is the winner. Looks like a duet between both bosses. <laughs> Alex, do you have any question? Oh, yes, when can we start? <laughs> Alex, eager as usual. We will divide you guys into two teams. Alex, Sally and Swishy in one team, Jane, Larry and Maggie in another team. My group would like to discuss strategy in the lab. Sure. And the other team will have their discussion in this room. We will start after the morning break. What does the winner get? We don't have price for winner. 
Nancy quotes, competition is always a good thing. It forces us to do our best. A monopoly renders people complacent and satisfied with mediocrity. Swishy, Will quotes. Yes, how about dinner vouchers at breakfast at Trinity? <laughs> I will need to talk to Dave on the budget. Marketing office can sponsor this. For both winner and loser? Look, they already conceded before start. <laughs> Even though we have one winner, but effort is from both, yes, why not? But winner gets to wear winner, t-shirt. <laughs> we don't have to. Marketing can sponsor that too, it's only a small percentage of the price. Sure. Look at their excitement. This exercise sure going to bond them as a team. The last part is the best, we are going to merge them as one team and come out with the best solution. Yes, learning from own team mistake can be shared and strategies can be improved further. That team building at best. Wow. Alex, you really scored today. Dinner at breakfast at Trinity for everyone. Yes, very good thinking Alex. Do they served dinner? It's breakfast, breakfast at Trinity. It doesn't matter, as long as we get the vouchers. Dinner at Buddy Bar would be better. Alex, don't get greedy. Remember we want to test Holly, right? Aren't we going to test her during online ordering for lunch? Yes, let's meet at front office later. Now that Holly cannot see us, we can test her knowledge. But, but she had our database. Yes, we need to present ourselves as a new stranger to her, and see if she can recommend the food correctly. We can deliver it to your secret admirer's office. Alex. That would camouflage ourselves. What? No, no. I am trying to avoid her law. As Napoleon says, great achievement is usually born of great sacrifice, and is never the result of selfishness. Yes, footballer Messi used to say, you have to fight to reach your dream. You have to sacrifice and work hard for it. Patrick Lencioni says, teamwork requires some sacrifice up front, people who work as a team have to put the collective needs of the group ahead of their individual interests. Okay, okay, okay. Enough already with the quotes. Wait, one more. Kylian, the French footballer quotes, if the team needs you, you need to sacrifice. I gave up. Proceed with Jane proposal. As Benjamin says, energy and persistence conquer all things. <laughs> Enough already. I call her now and arrange. Success. Great teamwork, guys. Alex, you got something up your sleeves, right? Spot on Sally. Look, Larry is great with algorithm programming. To beat them we need something better. What do you have in mind? There are two key things to solve in this exercise. Identify the final pattern and arrange it to the final location. To identify the final pattern is tough since it was randomized and we don't know what it is. We need someone that have a photographic memory. I'm out on this field. I am okay, but without knowing the final pattern, it's hopeless. No need to worry further, we wear these VR spec to snap photo. This would save us a lot of time trying remember the random pattern. <laughs> we can trick Max and Sam, 
but Larry and Jane would know, right? I don't think so, both team would be in different room. Even Larry and Jane know, they wouldn't sell us out. Unlike someone. What do you mean? Remember Jedi Knight can't beat his master. <laughs> Alex, you mean Sally would sell you out if she knew? Hey, I was only joking. Don't be so serious. So, you guys in? Okay, but we need to lie smartly. Looks like stupid smart. What is that? Stupid smart? <laughs> It's like you knew the answer but purposely answer it wrongly. Later, you answer it correctly. That makes you smart. It's like you don't score 100% mark on every subject, sometimes you score less to make people not suspicious that you are cheating. I got it now. Imaging explaining this it to Maggie. <laughs> now who did sold me off to Maggie in cafe earlier? Alex, now you are busted. Sally, do you notice that Maggie like you? I'm a very likable person. It's more than that. <laughs> like, like with feeling. Stop it. Be smart stupid, and not stupid smart. <laughs> Don't worry, my lips are zipped. Boy. This Alex Shurkin ran fast. <laughs> okay, before we start our discussion, Team Sally, Alex, and Swishy had won the team building activity. Surprisingly, you guy view the puzzle much less that other team. Your team must have a very good photographic memory. Alex, can you elaborate your group's strategy? Oh, I work on the algo movement of the blocks. Sally can help to elaborate our strategies. <laughs> well, we strategize to look only at the joints between block and their rotation. Later, we formulate the joints and finally the whole movement of the blocks. How about your group? Larry? Our group spent quite a lot of time visualizing the final pattern. I guess we lost it in that area. Tomorrow, everyone combined as one team and see if you can solve it even faster than today. You have the whole afternoon discuss on the combined strategy. Now, let's get back to today meeting agenda. To maximize traffic flow, our challenge is to communicate with each other routes and their arrival time. It will be huge amount of data to process, ever-changing conditions may result in not enough time to complete processing. I suggest we separate the whole city into multiple zones. Each zone receives life data from neighboring zone of traffic condition, and then calculate its balancing capacity to handle abnormality and traffic density. Something like the puzzle? Yes. The changes will be like to pattern in the puzzles. The final route out of the zone cannot be altered, else a car could be diverted out from its original routes. The capacity of the zone should have always be kept to be at lower than half. This maximizes its capability to handle abnormality. Wow. This is just like the puzzle game. Yes, Swishy, just like the puzzle game. You guys are so lucky. Make a living by playing games. <laughs> Swishy, if you love your work, then everything can be like playing games or enjoying doing the stuff you like. 